Okay. Um, as you may already know, there was a shooting that happened at a gay bar uh, club in Orlando, Florida, and I just, it honestly stuck with me um, a little bit. And I, it stuck with just about everyone in the LGBTQ plus community. And I decided after watching Tyler Oakley's video and Hannah Hart's video, it just left a strong impact on me. And I wanted to share my thoughts and my concerns and to show that I'm standing with the LGBTQ plus community. Um, and to show that it's okay to be scared, but it's also okay to show your support in this time of need. First off, my heart and prayers go out to all the victims and their families. And honestly, just anyone who's been affected by the shooting in the LGBTQ plus community, in any community, honestly. I hate... I don't hate many things. I really, really don't. I'm someone who's very optimistic and positive and loving, but I hate violence. I absolutely hate violence, and I hate that we have hate on in, on this earth. So many lives were stripped away, and it just it brings me great sadness, and I don't know how to react. And one of the things that makes me the most saddest is that people in the LGBTQ plus community are now scared. I'm an empath, which means I like feed off of other people's energy. And I just feel all this fear and sadness within my friends and within my community. And they're scared of being themselves. After what happened, many people are like, oh, well, I probably shouldn't identify as gay or bi or transgender because I'm going to get shot. And honestly, I felt a little bit the same way. Uh, anytime I go out in public with my boyfriend, Kyrese, I get scared of holding his hand, and it shouldn't be like that. No one should have to live a life of fear of being themselves, and that's crappy. And this event, honestly, in a way, it pushed people back into the closet. For a lot of people, honestly, and it, it, that saddens me. I have a friend a couple days ago who Snapchatted me and said, I can't be who I am. I'm scared. And I'm like, don't be scared. Uh, be, I mean, I get it. I understand you're scared. We're all scared. But I think it's important that we stand together in this in these times to show that no matter what you do, no matter all the hatred that you show, we will stand together, that we will conquer this. Honestly, I think this event happened to try to scare us, to try to say, hey, if you're gay, be scared, be afraid, don't come out, don't show who you are. And in a way, we can fight back not with violence, but with love and unity. We stand together and show, hey, we are who we are and we're not gonna change. And that's why I wanted to make this, just to show that I'm scared. And I know lots of you must be scared too, but we need to stand together. We need to show that we're not gonna disappear. We're not leaving just because you're scaring us. We're here forever and there's nothing wrong with us. Honestly, it, it doesn't matter what your sexual orientation is, what your skin color is, what your religion is. We're all people, and we've been taught since preschool that we should be happy with who we are and, to sh and that our differences is what makes us unique. What happened to that? Why can't we go back to those rules that, hey, be different, because that's what makes you you. I hate that all this happened during Gay Pride Month. I hate, I just hate the fear that it struck within people. It struck fear. It struck fear in my community and I don't like that. After watching Tyler Oakley and Hannah Hart's video, I was like, and they made a point about actually doing something where prayers and thoughts are awesome and they do help. I'm not saying that they don't help, but actions help a lot too. Um, 
you could email and tweet and call your representatives, your senators. I did it last night. I set up late and I just kept contacting and sending emails and um, calling and everything. Honestly, I have a whole bunch of links in the description below um, as for ways that you could be a part of making a difference. People are afraid of not doing anything because they're too small. And Hannah Hart said it perfectly that a whole bunch of little people coming together can make a big impact. The way I see it, we're all little pebbles. And if you put a whole bunch of pebbles together, you can make a big boulder. So if we get all of our pebbles together, we can make this big boulder and make a difference. There's petitions that you could sign and there's just raise your voice. You're a person, you have a voice and show that, hey, I'm scared for the LGBTQ plus community. We need more protection. We need background checks for guns. We need whatever you feel like you need. Speak, tell your representative, tell your senator, tell whoever, your Congress member, your mayor. I'm not the most political person, but I know that it. you do have a voice and we all do have a voice. And if we all come together, we can all make a difference because we are the people without us there is no them and I think that's what we forget and they let make us think that we're small and that we have no voice but in reality with all of us standing together with all of us putting our impact our, our voices together without us there is no them we need to speak up if you're affected mentally by what happened I'm so sorry I really am and I'm I feel terrible that you are afraid of being yourself. I'm in pain because people are afraid of being themselves. We shouldn't be afraid of who we are. We shouldn't have to worry about going out in public and being who we are. We shouldn't have to worry about anything, honestly. I, I'm an optimist and I continue to dream that one day we can live together where we can just go next door and hug our neighbors. I just want to be able to go next door, hey, can I have a hug? Here's a hug, great. I know it's a little far-fetched. If anything, we have the power to show respect for each other and I think that's one of the most important things that we can do. And while I'm on this, if you are someone who's blaming all Muslims, don't, because that's stupid. That's like saying, hey, look, that one gay person raped someone, so it hate the entire gay community. It, it doesn't make sense. Okay? It, it's, it's a person, not entire religion, who caused this. And I hate it when people are hating against the Muslim community. Because why are you going to show hate if you're... Especially an LGBTQ plus person. It's like, you know how it feels like to be hated against. Why are you going to hate other people? I hate hate. I hate hate. I hate hate. I'm not the biggest religious person, but I know my life verse is Matthew 5:44, and it goes like, "But I say to you, love your enemies and continue to pray for those who persecute you." And I feel like we all need to follow that. Like even if you don't like someone, just love them. Pray for people who might not love you back, who might hate you, because if we just show our love, we can help create more love. I always try to go by this one quote, and it says, Love is infinite. You can always make more when you need it. So let's make love to conquer this hate. Let's stand in unity to show that no amount of fear can break us apart. If anything, we'll only come back stronger. I know being part of the LGBTQ plus community is hard. There's always going to be someone saying something negative. But don't forget that you're loved, that there are people to support you, that you're amazing the way you are. And it's a blessing to be a part of such a loving and kind and caring community. A community where we stand together. A community where it there is no different. We are all the same in here. Thanks to all the straight people too who support us i mean without your support you wouldn't be able to we wouldn't be able to change other people's minds 
to show that, hey, look, there's a straight person who supports gay people. That's awesome. I didn't start after three years of trying to start an LGBTQ club at my school for no reason. I wanted to show that no matter what, we are together. We're here together. We find unity in our diversity. We find love within everything. It, we're a melting pot, and we should be proud of that. I know that you're scared, and I know that you're shaken up, but just know that I'm here, and that there are other people who are here. You should never be ashamed of who you are, and I know right now it's scary to be who you are, but the more that you show support for our community, the more that we stand together, the more hate we drive out. Don't let people scare you and push you away from this community. Because then you're letting them win. We're not going to let them win. We're going to stand together. We're going to fight this hate with unity. With love. Honestly, you're a freaking star. So shine bright and strong and vibrant. And don't diminish because someone tries to put water on you. Don't diminish because someone tries to block you with darkness. Overshine that darkness. You are the light at the end of the tunnel. Again, I'm sorry if you feel scared. I'm sorry if you are afraid of being who you are because we shouldn't have to hide who we are. None of us should have to hide who we are. I'm sorry for all the people who have been affected, all the families who've been broken, all the people who were forcibly outed. Remember that we stand together. And that by standing together, we can conquer this fear. You don't have to be hidden. Because we are here to support you. Never stop being you. Don't forget that you have the power to do something too. And the links below, you can tweet your senator, your representative, your whomever, your mayor. Do something. Show your support. And honestly, I think this is one of the most important things that we can do right now is show your support. Don't let fear strike into your heart and hide, make you hide who you are because then you're letting them win. You're letting the haters win. I love you. I'm sorry if you feel scared. I feel scared, but we need to overcome this fear with unity. So I'm standing up for my, for my community. I'm standing up for what I believe in. I'm not ashamed of being gay. And I'm not gonna let fear push me away from my community. Love you.